Hey YouTubers, 95 Speed GTA. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to finally replace the front speakers on my 1995 Ford Taurus. Now, uh, again, I don't know about the Mercury Sable. They could be similar, but this is for the 1992 to 1995 Ford Taurus and Ford Taurus SHO. Um, Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take the door panel off and screws are located here, here. Uh, I don't see any underneath here. One here. This is a little easier than I thought. Basically, what you do is you take the door panel down, which um, there's a screw here in the door handle. There's a screw right in the pocket area. Um, you gotta, you don't, well, yeah, this is how I did it. There's one, two screws holding in the power window um, switches, and you should take that screw out and remove that molding piece, but mine slid right out. Um, basically, what you gotta do is, you gotta be careful when you take these out. Um, because these things are old and they could be brittle. I'm not disconnecting anything. I'm just going to let it not hang but sit right there. And there's your speaker. It's not as small as you think it would be. Uh, this looks like it's a six and a half. So, we got one screw here, one screw here. Wow, it's only held in by two screws. So, once you take these two screws out, there's going to be a terminal. Um, terminal harness that you gotta ha you have to disconnect. Uh, you disconnect it, take the speaker out, and then I'm gonna show you how to replace it and how to properly install it. This is pretty much the same principle as the back speakers. Um, you unclip terminal, and it slides right out. Let's see if I can do this while videotaping. Ooh. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna detach this from the original speaker and we're gonna make our own homemade harness. Okay, so I kind of went ahead a little bit. Um, I got the speaker out. Now, this is your door speaker for your Taurus. What you wanna do is take this off very carefully. You're gonna need this. This is, this is to keep your uh, speakers from vibrating in um, your uh, your door panel, so it's not going to sound like crap. So hold on to this. Um, to take the speaker out of its bracket, you can have three of these screws. Now these look like they're 5.5 millimeter or 4 millimeter. They're pretty small. Um, I didn't use a socket set. I just used this. And I grabbed onto them and I just turned them counterclockwise and they came right out. So, you're going to have to take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to have to get an edge at this and you're going to pry this grill off, which you're going to reuse and it's going to expose your speaker. Now, this is all going to rip when you take that grill off. But remember, this is a six and a half and I don't feel like buying brand new six and a half speakers so I have I think these are five and a halfs or something when you put them in the grill oh man that magnetic stuff really pisses me off uh, when you put them in the grill they don't line up with all the holes exactly so you could probably get like one lined up there are two ways you can go about this one you could take your drill and I'm getting bit by mosquitoes you could take your drill and you could drill out um, one, two, and if you're lucky, th uh, three additional holes and mount it in. Or, what you can do is you could reuse this grill. When you put this grill back on, you have access to all your holes again. Not only that, you could mount it in properly and you don't have to worry about the speaker being loose. Also, if you have a Dremel 
or something to cut out this because some people they don't like they don't like this because the sound won't come out as perfect or whatever really it's a five and a half speaker it's not going to make a difference i'm going to leave mine but you could cut yours out and just use the ring as a mounting piece so oh by the way i went a little too far um before you do all that what you're going to do like i did with my rear six by nines is um you're going to want to pry off this terminal on your factory speaker because we're going to make our own homemade uh, speaker adapters so we don't have to splice into our uh, factory stuff and we're going to use this so leave this off to the side now I'm going to mount the smaller speaker and I'll be back in a moment just to also show you this way that I'm oh man this magnet's really annoying um, just to show you these tabs are going up against this bracket so the tabs are sticking out so when I use this and I put it over and I screw it all down this is going to be my bracket for the speaker so if you were thinking that there's going to be vibration and the speaker is going to be moving around that's not going to happen once this is down it's down for good make sure that you don't Make sure you don't align this with any of the holes. Make sure you keep them away from each, uh, you keep them away. And a good way to mount it is like that. So you leave all the holes open so it makes an even seal. Okay, so here's the finished product. There's the new speaker that everybody says you can only put six and a half and a Ford Taurus's driver and passenger door because anything smaller or anything different can't be done. So, this is it. Um, I tried with all my might to move this. The speaker is not going anywhere. If you'd feel more comfortable, you could do something like take, uh, take some silicon and silicon it on the sides, you know, just to ensure, cause you, ensure that it won't move or get loose or fall apart or anything. But it's really not going to happen. It's screwed down and everything's in properly just as if it were the original speaker. So now what we're going to do is uh, we have our negative and positive side. We're going to find out what's negative and positive from the factory terminal. And we're going to make our homemade terminal connector. And we're going to put it all back together. Before I forget and before you forget, don't forget <laughs> the little um their little speaker wire. Um man, every time I film something I can't talk. But anyway, there are like these remnants of the speaker on this terminal. What you want to do is take your pair of dikes and cut it off. So you don't forget, you don't want this on there anymore. Plus, you're gonna be soldering the new speaker wire either here or here so here we go all right we got ourselves a nasty storm coming up I'm glad I'm underneath the carport so look at that doing your front speakers on your Ford Taurus the left hand and right hand front speaker the left hand positive the wire color is orange and light green the negative is light blue and white so when you take your um, homemade adapter piece and uh, you go to make it like you're plugging it in, um, the part where you plug it in, the orange and green is going to be on this side with the little tab sticking out of it. So this is going to be your positive wire. You make sure you put it right here and you know just how to solder everything. Holy shit! I'm stuck for sure. Bullshit. So I'm gonna finish my project inside the car. Okay, so now since I have to finish my project in the car, because, uh, well...
It's a little unexpected. So, when you fall into a situation like this, you put your soldering iron in your ashtray. The speaker got a little wet, which isn't the best thing, but what are you gonna do? And here we go. Okay, so what I do is, uh, your shock's not hard on a counter on. But I use the existing solder that's at the tip of my terminal, and uh, let me switch this. And when I do that, it holds it on for me, and the hole that's in there is where, right there, where I'm going to be putting my solder. So once you solder it on, and when you use the existing solder just to hold it in place, once you solder it it'll be there forever and you don't have to worry about anything moving so now since we got our homemade adapter all ready to go um, last thing to do before we install it is to put on that foam gasket that I told you to save so if you got some glue like some spray glue or some crazy glue put a couple of dabs around it turn it over stick it on, press it, let it set, then install it in the car. Okay, so I'm about to put the speakers in. Um, a little different from when I did the rear speakers on the Taurus. Um, the, your homemade terminal that you made, you gotta cover it up because uh, it's really not that insulated back there. And uh, what I used, was something I had left over from an old job and what this stuff is is uh, it's a foam insulator that I got at Home Depot you this is heavy-duty stuff it's it's good for like 200 degrees or something you put this stuff on boiler pipes so it's foamy and uh, I just decided what I'm gonna do just to give it more padding is I'm gonna put it right along where the speaker goes Kinda, it's gonna kind of work like Dynamat. It actually feels just like Dynamat. It just doesn't have that um, aluminum colored outer. And that's it. Putting the door panel on is just reverse order. Right, Door panels on. Saturday, now I just got to run October, the switch back Joe on, on bolt it up, uh, every, screw it in, and that's how it's done. Sister Sledge, a show Thanks for watching, guys.